In this video, surgeon Peter Chang will demonstrate what to do if the GAT procedure encounters resistance or is unable to be passed to full 360 degrees. The microcatheter has been inserted through the peripheral clear corneal incision. And now we'll use a goniotomy needle with the gonio lens to make a small incision in the terrecular meshwork on the opposite side of the anterior chamber. This small incision will give us access to Schlem's canal for the catheter insertion. After creating the incision, now the microcatheter is being inserted into Schlem's canal. And you can see the micro forcep is being used to grasp small sections and steadily advance it forward. Again, with the goal of going all the way around. However, you'll find that occasionally the catheter will stop advancing, that resistance will be encountered or that it will start to go off course. And this video demonstrates what one should do in those cases. You don't want to just keep pushing forward, but rather if you cannot pass it easily, the best thing to do is to back it out. And then we will simply reapproach this through the same incision, but going in the opposite direction. So to do that, we want to orient our catheter so it's approaching from the opposite side. So a new paracentesis is made. And now we will reinsert our catheter. So the micro forcep is grasping the tip of the catheter, and then the gunio lens will go back into place. The micro catheter is inserted through the same incision back into Schlem's canal, but this way going in the opposite direction. Slow, steady advancement, short segments with, with each grasp monitoring the lighted tip of the microcatheter as it advances around. We're about three quarters of the way around now, so it will soon be approaching our original incision through the terrecular meshwork. And here it comes. Once it's back around, now the forceps are used to grasp the lighted end. And the lasso will be pulled by placing force on both ends of the catheter, which will pull it through the trabecular meshwork. And here it goes across so that we have just opened it 360 degrees.